what's going on here? I, I, I don't, I don't recognize any of this. It's, it's all so strange. Oh, maybe I hit my head. I can't seem to put my thoughts together and everything hurts. I don't even know how I got here or, or what's happened. There's nothing but force as far as the eye can see. Wait, where's Adi and Sonolar? They were with me before everything went woozy. Anyway, I should try to locate them first. Maybe if I can find someone, they can explain where I am and what's going on. Hopefully they'll know where Adi and Sonolar might be. Who's there? Uh, where, where am I? I remember things going all crazy and then... A girl? She seems harmless. But is she alone? I should talk to her and see what she's doing here. Hey, are you alright? You look a little... dazed. My... my... Uh, my head is still very groggy. I just came to a few minutes ago. Is there... anything I can do? I just need to rest for a while. Say, uh, you wouldn't by chance happen to know where we are, would you? I'm actually not sure where I am. I just suddenly showed up in this strange place. And I'm having a bit of trouble finding my way back. What a coincidence. Actually, I seem to have ended up here under mysterious circumstances as well. Great. Two confused peas in a strange pot. <laughs> well, that's one way to put it, I suppose. At least there are two of us together trying to figure this out. Oh, I just realized I don't even know your name. Oh, yes, right. I'm Amr. Pleased to meet you, Amr. My name is Kyle. I've lost my friends and was just about to go look for them. You lost them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're here too, but somehow we got separated. You might think this is a weird question, but did you fall from the sky, Kyle? Yes. How'd you know that? Unless, the reason you were out cold when I found you is you fell here too. I did, and unlike you, I didn't land well at all. My head is still swimming a little. I have to say, you're taking all of this quite well, considering the circumstances. not every day you can snatch from your world and deposit it in a strange place, right? Don't forget, separated from friends, too. I was taken from the hold of my ship. Thankfully, we were docked at the harbor when it happened. Ah, oh, I would have guessed if you'd asked me. You're dressed like the captain of the ship. Well, that's close. But doesn't this mark here give away my actual line of business? Looks like a skeleton. Is that right? Are you a ship doctor? No, no, that's not it. I'm a pirate, captain of my ship and pillager of all that roams the sea. Oh, that, that sounds impressive, but also a little scary. It's not something you should be impressed with, but the fear response is correct. Everyone is afraid of pirates. It's part and parcel of the occupational choice, you see. But you seem so nice, Kyle. You even took the initiative to talk to me. I can't imagine people being afraid of a person as nice as you. Well, I'm definitely not going to let a girl wander around this strange place all by herself. <laughs> see? You're just as nice as I thought from the start. Man, you really know how to put a pirate off his game. But I'll look after you until you find your friend. Oh, Kyle, thank you. I'll look out for you in return. What? You see, I may not look it, but I'm actually a reincarnated angel. It's a good thing. If you ever get hurt, I can fix you right up with a healing miracle. 
man, this day keeps getting weirder and weirder. I don't want to even think what may. Uh-oh, we've got company. Amr, hide. I bet it's a stray summon. No, no, that's a demi-human boy from the Beast World. At least he looks to be. I've known you for minutes, and you're still surprising me. How do you know that? Well, I have a lot of summon friends. I'm really just repeating what they told me. Somebody! Help me! Huh? Armor? Friend of yours? Armor? No, I have never laid eyes on him. Well, he seems to know you. Heard the poor sod call your name. Clear as day. I'm sorry. Have you, um, maybe mistaken me for someone else? This is not the time for silly tricks. I would never make that mistake, Honor. It's me, Rezzy. I've been serving my master faithfully since I was called from Beast World Metropa, and... But I'm not your master. I've never laid eyes on you before now. We don't have time for these tricks, Honor. You know, we've been traveling to your hometown Grandpa Agla's often told stories about. Sorry, but you really and truly do have me confused with someone else. Oh, uh, this is all too much. Hey now, stuff those tears back in your hurt locker and save them for something that matters, kid. We have more important things to figure out, like what that strange rumbling noise I'm hearing is. Oh, yes, yes! That may be the stray summons that attacked me! Which is why you were crying for help when we first found you, right? Well, this is a detail that should have come up before Grandpa Glug Glug or whatever. These are the details that matter, kiddo. You should have told us about the stray summons first. Sorry. So sorry. Fine. Apology accepted, kid. Both of you need to scram. I'll deal with these little freaks. Oh, no. I couldn't possibly leave you to face them alone. There's no time to argue about it. This is about to get dangerous. Go! Careful! Oh no! I told you, don't worry about me. Just beat it and leave them to me. Take out. Well, so much for slipping away quietly. No, don't let them eat me. I'm far too young to die. Well, Miss Arma, sense anything? Yes, around here. It's really pretty amazing that you can sense the presence of others like this, Hasaha. Hmm. 
Was that rustling? And I thought I heard a shriek. <laughs> Did I hear a shriek? Somebody's being attacked. It sounded like it came from over there. Let's go. I can't take them out all by myself. <laughs> this is not a successful stance for the beginning of a battle, kiddo. And the crying isn't helping either. Magna? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. We found your friend, Magna. But let's do the reunion after the threat here is taken out. this party up a notch. No! Give me a sec. I'll be ready Here to go nothing. again soon. Ha! Let's keep this going. Was that okay? Oh! No! End of the line for you. I'll do my best. to rest for a bit. Asaha will do her best. Phew! Showtime! Great. 
regretting this day. I'll do my best. That's all I can do for now. I saw how it went, right? Phew. Here it goes. Give me a sec. I'll be ready Let's to go see. again soon. All right. Showtime. Regretting Winter. this day. Yeah. That's all I can do for now. Asaha will do her best. Enough for now. Let's kick this party up a notch. Soon. Was that okay? Here we go. All right. Up enough. End of the line for you. I'm getting all flabby with these easy battles.
You're the reincarnation of an angel, right? In a prior life, I was Amine, angel of fertility. But I scarcely have any memories of that time left. You don't even remember what sort of angel you were? I do remember little bits, but I looked up the history in the library in Gibson's house to learn more. Amine used her miracles to help injured creatures protect the land and make it fertile. That's amazing! Do you still have some of those powers? Maybe you can help Fallujah too. Hmm? What do you mean? I plant seeds I pick up, but they never sprout. It'd be really helpful if I could grow my own vegetables. Unfortunately, I don't have the powers to help with that anymore. Well, I had to take a shot. You understand, right? I completely understand. When I read that I had this ability in my old life, I wanted it for this one too. <laughs> Looks like we're on the same wavelength. But I don't get the part where you started as an angel and returned a human. What happened? Oh, uh, if I've asked something I shouldn't have, just tell me. No, it's okay. It's only natural that you're curious. Don't feel bad about it. It's just... It's just that I don't have the courage to talk to anyone about what happened. Yeah, if you just give me some time, I'll tell you when I feel more at ease with it. Oh, uh, okay. No problem. Take your time. I didn't mean to put you on the spot with my questions. You're right. I'm just curious. Thank you for understanding. You're sweet, Raj. Almer is so nice. I need to try to remember to temper my curiosity, putting people on the spot. <laughs> 